Greetings, everybody. This is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And the lovely people at Ace Movie wanted me to test out their new editing software called Ace Movie Video Editor. So here we have your standard user interface here. This is what everything looks like here. And I just wanted to, again, thank you so much for the company for this opportunity to allow me to review their software. So without further ado, we are going to get started. So what we have here is your interface here. So you've got your timeline here export function here when you're done your project and this is also your toggle settings and then a preview window here so what we're going to do is we're going to just import our media first so i'm going to go import and then we're going to go into videos if we have video media here then we're just going to test out good old video 5. so video 5 is already imported in here and to add to the timeline all you do is you can just drag and drop down or you can just click the plus sign and add it straight to the timeline so it gives you a warning here, the resolution or frame rate does not match the current settings, you want to change the setting. We're going to match it to the media so that way it matches to your preferences. So we've imported our clip into our timeline here and it's pretty straightforward here. So you got your time codes up here, your add media here, or you can add other tracks or you can add, add up to a lot of tracks actually. So let's say you had about 26 tracks you wanted to add. Now I don't know how many people use 26 tracks but that's just a preference. So we're just gonna undo all that. Oh, not everything. There we go. So we have our track here. So you probably wanna know the basics, right? So I'm just gonna play back our clip a bit here. So that's just a sample clip that we played back. So what you can do is you can also extend it by clicking on here. Let me show you again. If you click here, you can stretch it out so you can get a zoomed in view so then you can also you can also use your marker here when you mark it to split clips so I think along here if you highlight here sheer copy paste there there's a the split button the scissors so what you do is you mark your clip there with the marker and you press split and then if you want to do the same thing click split again and then you can delete what you split and then you can start off without any like sort of awkward pauses or anything like that so it's pretty seamless the split and then I don't know about the shear button though I've never used that before so I'm just gonna go you can also adjust the speed of it and then we're gonna go let's say slow and 0.5 so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here Look how slow that is. And then you can also adjust the speed to go like this. You can adjust it to slow, slow motion, as you can see there. And then same, vice versa, fast. So let's, that's too fast. I was, I was way too fast. <laughs> so then you can also adjust the speed again to four times fast. And, and the clip ends right there. So that's how you can split clips and adjust speed. They also have keyframing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the keyframe function. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go opacity 0, then go all the way here, and then add another keyframe to go opacity 20%. So what it does is if it's right, it animates it all the way to that point. And then you can drag the keyframe and then make it go 100%. So we're going to give that a try here. So let's just, do, let's just start from the beginning and play back our clip. So we have just made a keyframe to go from zero dark to 100% opacity, which is really, really cool. And then you can also do the same thing for your saturation as well. So let's say you want brightness all the way up once you're done. You have to first add a keyframe first. You have to add a keyframe first so that you can also adjust the brightness like that. And then you can alternate between keyframes and rotate it however you want. So then if you go play back, you can do all the things that your keyframes would do. So that's just a basic understanding of keyframing. So you can just play around with that however you like. So then you would go to a certain part of the clip. What we're going to do... There's also an elements options where you can add elements to it. You can just drag and drop, or you can just 
put it in, and then let's just preview these elements right here. So there's our five point star that just appeared there, which is really, really cool. And then you can do the same for these other graphics. So you can download graphics from here, and then you can also do like a light blade. Oh, there's a charging thing? Cool. Oh, you have to download the assets as well. So you download the assets, and then it becomes available to you when you use it. So you have to click the download button on the side here to download each of the assets. So let's just make it bigger here. And then we can we can free rotate it. So let's just see how it looks here. So we're just going to play that back. Oh, it constructs the battery. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. So you can use pretty good graphics, or pretty standard graphics from their library here. You can add bears, deers, whatever you like. And you can search up into categories as well. So multimedia, they have mixers, VCRs, all that stuff here. And then you can just go through all, so you can look through all of them. And then USB, that's probably what the option was there. And then you can go daily, and then it shows like shaking daily vlogs, or you can even see a preview of the animations down there. And then here is background music where you can use different background music. So you have to download the background music and you can add it to the timeline like this so that it plays back. So you probably can't hear this because I'm using headphones. So that's just an example. Just play the music like that. And then here you can add text. Adding text is really cool here. I've had a great experience with it. So we're going to just download the asset. And then we're just going to see there's our design. And then what you do is you right click. And then there should be an edit set up here. Ah, yes, the edit design is right here. So we're going to go here. Then we're going to go make amazing, ass amazing. <laughs> no, not going to do ass amazing text. Uh, amazing text. So then what we're going to do is we're going to preview that now. And then what it did was that it just allowed our text to appear on the screen with animations. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Not going to lie. And we're just going to make our timeline a little smaller here just to show you what everything's like. Because I got a small video clip, but everything else is a little bit bigger. So that's adding text and editing text on the side. You just tell me scale it and position it. And then there's also the filters option. This is pretty straightforward. So you can apply filters to your video if you want to. I'm just going to delete all this here. Then we're just going to go here. We're just going to delete all this for now. So we're just going to go playback here. Then we're just going to add a quick filter. Just drag and drop. Really easy to apply. So then you got your mist there. You can also apply it onto your clip. So let's just play it back and see what it's like. So there's the mist there. And then it fades out like that. So it applies our animation like that. And then you can also see red film. You'd have to download the assets for each one. And then there's also transitions. So this is the fun part. You want to know what transitions are. So the transitions here are just what add effects to your video. So we're just going to delete that. Then we're just going to make this a little bit longer. Just going to increase the speed of this. So that way it's a little bit slower and then we have more to use. So we're just going to rotate that back. Hi, Domingo. I'm talking to myself. Why am I doing that? So then what you do is you go and get your transition, put it on to the left, and then you put it on to the right here, and then watch everything work. Amazing transition, amazing video, and then once your amazing video is done, outro. Sweet. That's pretty darn cool. So you can play with any transition that you like here. There's a lot of transitions here. Hundreds of transitions here. It's like 52 transitions. So <laughs> sorry, I'm just starting to make. I'm making the software look better than it is. I mean, it is a really good software. So you got your animations. So there's your radar function. So we're gonna play it like a radar. Wow. Oh, that's pretty sick. That is that. That's amazing. Not gonna lie. That's that's pretty darn cool. And then you also have here what's called regional effects. So you can give yourself a mosaic effect if you wanted to. So we're just going to make it bigger like that. And then we're just going to play it back and see how that looks. You can just do a lot of things with this. You can add a lot of effects to it. Then you can also sharpen your clip, make it sharper. 
if you had something that's grainy, then smooth it, color it, whatever you like to do. And then there's more options down here. So what do we have here is a split screen function. So you can go and split screen certain videos. So, so there's like one to one, one to two. So I think you can have to add certain media as things go. So you can press here to add more media. So we're just going to quickly do that. And then I'm just going to go and see if we got random clips. Uh, we're not going to use any of those. I'll just use same. I'll just use the same clips over and over again. So we're just going to go open that, open that. Oh, looks like it won't let me add that. That's okay. I'm going to use this other one here. So this will be on split screen one, then this will be on split screen two. So we got two simultaneous videos playing there which is really cool, really nice. Now this is just a preview, mind you, so that's why it's going a little bit slow. But when it's exported, it won't look like that. So it gives you the option to rotate each of your videos and leave it alone. And then you can do whatever compositing you like. You can choose between one and two. So you can click back between one and two. So you click one here to select one. You click two here to select two. Then you can do your effects accordingly. Then you can press OK, and then it applies everything that you just did there. So it shows up on your timeline like this, which is really nice. And it usually works with most formats of videos. So if you have certain formats of videos, it should work accordingly with the updated codex. So this is this the whole options that we have shown you here. This is the whole timeline, editing, editing transitions, animations, media, and however you like. And there's a really good job of it and you can do a lot here and you can add music whatever you like and then there's a lot of other screens you can add. you can add three simultaneous screens or up to four in that sense it's really really cool let's say you're all done with your funky fresh project what you do is you go to export then it gives you the import your options right here so hd mp4 this is the format that i always use always the best format best size quality best best everything when you upload to youtube but then you also have another list of formats so you can all, you can download up to 4k that's the max resolution right now and then you can do various other formats like dvd video mpeg1 mpeg2 if you're used to that sort of thing so you go to video and you can also go to device and then it also gets it by device so if you have a galaxy s phone huawei iphone whatever you have sorry well sony if these don't work on flip phones i'm sorry but these are the max models that you have to. I got a Motorola Droid that I use, so that works for me. Then you can import it up to Wii, TV, everything else. So it does a lot of exports, and you can also export from web. YouTube, now that's definitely the best option that you want to use. So if you go to YouTube, we're just going to enter uh, that name of the video. Then we're going to change the output path. We're just going to save it into our videos folder, select folder, and then thread count auto. We're just going to leave that, and we're going to go export. Trial version exports video with a model mark. Please buy a license to remove it. Uh, we're just going to continue. We're just going to continue. So it's exporting the video right now. So you can get the software as well, clicking on the link in the description below. So that way you don't have to have the watermark. And it is a really good software to have if you are not too familiar with other editing softwares like Sony Vegas and all those other things. So we're just going to let that render and then I will be right back. So once everything is done, what you do is you go to find target and then it finds the file location. So let's say there's our video right here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go and open. And then there is our video. And it does have a watermark if you don't have a registered copy. So that's the only thing. That's the only thing. I mean, it just is an amazing software. Otherwise, it does the job. Not gonna lie, it does the job really well. So we're just gonna close that. And that is my quick review of the Ace Movie editing software. So if you have any other questions, leave me a comment below. Or if you want me to do a follow up tutorial on a certain feature, also leave me a comment below as well. And don't forget to subscribe for more great content. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time for another video. Bye bye for now. 
One thing that I should have told you about is that it also has the ability to do screen captures as well. So when you go into your options and it's on the top, it'll give you screen record. I didn't explain it properly until I found out at the end of this video that it can do that functionality. So if you want to know how to do it, you can send me a comment below on how to do that. And then I will properly tell you the menu option and how to do it. So yeah. That was my fault. I forgot about that, but it does really good stream capture. So uh, thank you very much for watching again. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time for a new video. Bye-bye.